I've traveled to Oregon in hopes of firing one of the rarest and deadliest weapons of the Second World War, the legendary M2 flamethrower. But we still need one last thing, a target. A spider trench, a bunker dug into the jungle and covered with logs and earth. During the Pacific War, this deadly Japanese invention claimed countless American lives. Virtually invisible once covered, in thick jungle, the spider trenches were almost impossible to spot, let alone knock out. One thing we found out, the M2, very effective against these. You'd be safe against everything except for the M2. War in the Pacific rages on. Soldiers armed with flamethrowers attack the spider trenches in teams. While one burned off the vegetation, the other aimed for the now exposed firing ports. The effects were devastating. Finally, the Marines had a way to take them out. Cameras in place to catch what happens inside a spider trench during a flame attack so after one last rundown of the firing process, we are ready to go. I'm gonna aim this up at a 45 degree angle so fuel does not leak on my hand or short this mechanism out. That's correct, very good. Two, death grip. This is not going anywhere. Imperative. This, I will snap this button, I will make flame. Once that flame is going, safety goes in, and I hammer back all the way. Correct, you got all the points correct. It's time to unleash the full power of this weapon on our spider bunker. Are you ready? Yes, sir, I am. You're at 250. Flamethrower is now live! Our test is a chilling reminder of just how effective the M2 was at neutralizing these bunkers. Once we hit that small firing port, within seconds, the inside of the chamber was engulfed in flames. A spider trench might have been impervious to shells or machine gun fire, but it didn't stand a chance against the M2.